So recently on my channel, we did a Sims 4 build challenge where I had to use one item from every single pack in every different room. Today we're gonna be doing a very similar version of this challenge by using one item from every single pack, but for my entire house. But first, I'm gonna show you this super cute cottage that I built very, I don't know, we got the pumpkins. I recently discovered how obsessed I am with these from Cottage Living Debug. You can size them up, you can put them in different sizes. I think they look really pretty like outside. Something about them, I don't know, they just look more like cottage core, I guess you could say, than these ones from Seasons. I quite like them. Little farm in the back, a little bit of landscaping, nothing too special, and obviously we are only gonna be applying this to the interior of this challenge. I think this challenge could go either way. We could have a really easy time with this because I've already had to do like one item from every pack in every single room, but the catch is that will guarantee it basically that I have every single essential, so I have to do this strategically. So let's go inside. This is my layout on the interior. I wanted to make sure it wasn't too big because at this point we have a decent amount of like packs. I'm gonna be using stuff packs, expansion packs, and game packs, and within all of those, we have quite a bit to choose from here. So I think before we even start with this challenge, I'm gonna go ahead and do some kind of layout, and I think I wanna go more like closed concept. I don't want like a whole bunch of open space. I want it to be cute, cozy, small. Maybe my bathroom can be back here with my bedroom over to the side, and then I think everything else could probably just go in this area here. Let's keep it easy. We could do living room, bedroom, bathroom, dining room. I'm also gonna do flooring, wallpaper, and doors. All of those things are gonna be excluded from this challenge. It's just gonna be the items. Keeping, of course, with the cottage core theme, I think I'm gonna be using cottage living wood. I might actually even go in with like a strong wallpaper so that if it comes down to the decor and I'm kind of lacking in that area, the busy wallpaper will hopefully make up for that. Wait, should I do lighting? I feel like I should. Let's do the bunny wallpaper. I kind of want to do like a red. I really need lighting. A red couch or something with that bunny wallpaper could be really cute. I think I want to go for like an older style for my decor, so I'm going with this wallpaper for my bathroom. Maybe I'll carry that into this room as well. And then for the bedroom, what about that from Paranormal? I know it's dark. I need to get the lighting before I lose my mind. What is this layout already? Oh, the challenge hasn't even started and we're struggling. There, problem solved. All right, let's get these items. I'm going to go ahead and turn on every single one on my filter. Should we count the holiday? one? Why not? I mean, it's there. Okay, every single one is checked and as we go, we're gonna delete them. My strategy, I mean, first of all, is to get lighting, but second is gonna be to get all of the essentials and decorate after, because I don't want to end up getting down to the wire and all we have is packs left with, like, no toilet. You know what I mean? I kind of want to get a pack out of the way immediately that I, like, don't really want to use. What about Batu for lighting? So, Batu, goodbye. So sad to see you go. Let's do Island Living for the bedroom, so that one's eliminated. Cats and dogs for the kitchen and for the bathroom. I kind of am already stressing a little bit. You know what? Let's leave the lighting for the bathroom. I'm gonna go in with the essentials next, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a toilet. I feel bad about the fact that I've already eliminated two expansion packs. Okay, for the toilet, we're gonna use fitness stuff. That gets that out of the way. I don't feel bad losing a stuff pack, so see you later. We need a shower or a bath. I mean, this is a pretty big bathroom. Let's do a... I was gonna say maybe we could do Get Famous, but I'm not going for the fancy look. I'm going for the older look, so part of me thinks we should use vampires. Okay, and we need a sink for the bathroom, then we'll move on. We'll decorate, like, after. For my sink, I think I'm gonna use laundry day. <laughs> okay, laundry day, there's my sink. Done. Kitchen, I need to make sure that I have a fridge, counters, everything like that. So, wait. Oh, I just realized the counter situation is gonna be rough, just like in the every room challenge that I did. Okay. Ooh, actually. That's gonna be a problem. Well, okay, for fridge, I'm gonna use the kits. We're gonna get the country kitchen kit. I'm gonna place that there so we get rid of those. I'm counting all of the kits as one, by the way. When I do challenges like this, I tend to do that. I feel like all of them so far contributes to a stuff pack size, in my opinion, which is kind of sad. Base game, goodbye. We have to use the smoke detector safety first. The real question is how can I get this to look cohesive? So I need to get my color filter on. Let's do white, maybe. I'm gonna try jungle adventure and dream home decorator. We're gonna keep our counter space to a minimum though because I don't want to use more of these like mismatching counters if I don't have to. By the way, do you guys ever notice that these cottage living vines like clip through the wall no matter what? It's very frustrating. And for my oven, I think I'm gonna have to use cottage living because I can- oh never mind. I thought that swatch was gonna match the fridge and it 
doesn't like at all. Okay, frag. I kind of don't want to use cottage living for this. What about realm of magic? I actually don't hate it. I think we could work with that. Realm of magic, I feel okay with getting rid of as a pack. That sounded really bad. Okay, realm of magic, goodbye. What do we have left? It'll be interesting to see what the last ones standing are. Cause really they're gonna be like the packs that I don't really want to work with, but have to decorate with. Let's move on to either the living room or the bedroom next, depending on what we have left. Beds, I have quite a few options. Couches? Okay, not bad either way. I'm gonna do the bedroom, I think. I was hoping to pull together this like orangey, like red color from the wallpaper in the other room in the entire house. So when we decorate, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Can I do like a red or orange bed? Oh, this one. Yes, okay, seasons. Honestly, I'm gonna leave it like that and move on to this room. We're gonna get a couch. Like I've been picturing this couch in this living room since I put that wallpaper. I think we're gonna do it. And then I just move my door over here so that I have a little bit more room to work with. So cottage living off the table. Hate to see a go. What about a fireplace? Ooh, snowy escape. Or we could do eco lifestyle. Either way, it's gonna be super cozy. Paranormal too. Actually, let's do paranormal. Let's do the paranormal fireplace. Actually, I changed my mind. Nope, come back, come back to me. I love the decor too much. We're gonna be using parenthood. I'm subbing in parenthood for paranormal and I would do it any day of the week. Okay, TV options. We can really either go like bouge or not so bouge. I think out of these options that we've got, eco lifestyle will look the best. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the eco lifestyle like debug TV. Oh God, look at all these stuff packs. Okay, and finally I'm gonna move and do a dresser, which I think we could use this one from Get Famous. There, okay, <laughs> another expansion pack. I'm doomed, honestly. Now we can decorate. I do need a trash can and I'd like to do like a small dining table right here. I use this one almost every single build. That is my favorite trash can. I love it. I don't know why, honestly, <laughs> um, but that's my favorite one. We're gonna get rid of get together. For a table, let's see if I can find just a small table right here. I'm picturing like a couple's cottage living here, maybe like an Airbnb, depending on how cluttered we can get it. Oh my God. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use spooky stuff. If we gotta do it, I feel like that dining table with the like torn tablecloth, I'm not mad about it. Hot take maybe. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so get rid of spooky stuff. I feel good about that. Pat on my back for that one. For chairs, oh, city living would be really cute, but they're gonna not match. You know what? These right beside each other look very similar. I think that's a pass. We're gonna do that. So that's gonna take out cool kitchen and city living. Ooh, okay. And I still need a light for my bathroom. <laughs> okay, what about tiny living? No, dine out maybe? I think, I think yes. Dine out, I'm sorry, you, you were eliminated. <laughs> now we should start to decorate. And I don't know which room we should like prioritize. I'm thinking the living room, it's the main area. This is where you walk in the house. Let's go get a rug. I'm torn between tiny living, which would look kind of cute like that, or more plain with like the fluffy vintage glamour rug. I, I think I'm gonna try this. We're gonna do vintage glamour. I want like a plant or something for when you walk in. <laughs> is that like really obnoxious? I, I think yes, but it does take up a lot of room. So I'm gonna keep it, question mark. A mirror like right there would be really nice. Like something where you walk in an end table maybe, or we move that plant over in that corner. The door gets moved over a little bit and we could do a tiny living bookshelf in that red swatch. And that can go right there. And we could add like a lamp or clutter or something for like the walk-in area. So tiny living, I'm sorry, you gotta go. I'm thinking paranormal with the art. I like that swatch there. I think for now, I'm gonna move out. I wouldn't like to leave it like this. I'd like to clutter a little bit more, but if I have to, I think I'll be okay with it. Let's go and do the bedroom next. So for a rug, what if we did, I don't know, like nifty knitting maybe? Ooh, wait, okay. I was gonna put some curtains in here, but I think I'm gonna move these out because I love how they match. Those are from Discover University. <laughs> I think that was our last expansion pack. Oh no, we have a snowy escape and get to work. I'm gonna do snowy escape end table with a bowling day lamp. I know they have this orange swatch that I'm gonna use and I would love a mirror in here. Ooh, outdoor retreat. It's a very orange room. I need to break this up with some like green. Okay, outdoor retreat. Or wait, do I want this one instead? I think that one, then we take up a little bit more room. So outdoor retreat coming in hot with the mirror and a plant would be lovely. I actually think it'd be kind of cute if I used these from backyard stuff and put them like in between the dresser and the plant. There's three of them. So I'm trying to like squeeze them in so that they look properly placed. And we need a picture, which, ooh, actually that's cute. 
note, that little area right there is really nice. So Strangerville picture. Would also love something for right there, but I'm going to maybe move on to the kitchen for a minute. So Strangerville, hate to see you go. Spa day is the only game pack left. I can use that for the bathroom, I think, but for the kitchen. Okay. Oh, wait, I need a sink. Oh, Ev. Oh, no. Oh, I screwed myself. I forgot about the sink. Shoot. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to use... Oh, no. This sucks. You know what we're gonna have to do? We're gonna have to sub out a chair because I need cool kitchen, so I'm gonna delete this one. Just making sure that that's the right chair. I don't want to accidentally delete the wrong one, so that's gonna go. I'm gonna have to use a luxury party stuffed chair. And then for the sink, now I can use cool kitchen. Okay, crisis averted, I feel like. Maybe. For kitchen clutter, my options are coming down to it. I think I could maybe do... Ooh, we could do this from the toddler stuff pack. Yeah, this is gonna have to go on top of my fridge. What's the kitchen without a red solo cup, am I right? Wall decor, we could use this from get to work right there. I'm kind of attempting to use romantic garden in a unique way. I've also used the good old fairy lights in here as well, just to fill that space up top. And that takes care of the holiday stuff and romantic garden. Again, not ideal, but I, I don't know. I feel like it looks okay. And then we're gonna go clutter the bathroom next. Oh my God, I didn't put a mirror. <gasps> spa day got us. Okay, spa day mirror. Actually, let's do the movie one. I feel like that looks like a little bit older, older vibes. So movie hangout. We can do our My First Pet stuff blinds. All we have left is Moschino Kids Room and Spa Day. This is not my favorite picture, wouldn't be my first choice, but Kids Room stuff has this like orangey picture I think I could use, so let's try that. Spa Day and Moschino. Okay, let's actually go show all. Which room do you think needs it the most? I feel like anything I do is gonna be the wrong choice. We're either gonna use this right here just to take up the wall space, or that's for Moschino. I'm also thinking this spa day fish. <laughs> the last item I'm placing is a fish. Are we gonna continue? Or should I use the mirror instead? I don't know. I kind of hate that thing from Moschino. I guess it's gonna stay like that. You know, I'm gonna hands off, pull the plug. This is what my house looks like using one item from every pack in the entire house. I, I feel like I could have gone even smaller with this. Then it, maybe we would have had a little bit more clutter. It would have looked a little bit more full. But for what we originally said, if it's gonna be like an Airbnb or a rental cottage or something, I don't mind that. I think I think I can get behind that. So that is all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this fun little Sims 4 build challenge. If you guys have any suggestions for me for build challenges you want to see me do, let me know in the comment section down below. And that's all I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.